incredible actually. I didn't um, think it would feel this good just because I think with everything going on in the world, this is kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel, silver lining thing. Now that I know that I'm in the team, um, I guess I can have a plan to, to prep for the next 15 months and be, I guess, as prepared as possible um, leading into Tokyo. It all started to affect things just before the very last um, of our qualifying series. We have we had four qualifying series, uh, four qualifying events of the series. We'd gotten through three um, just before the last event in Sydney. The whole COVID nineteen thing started to unfold um, for a little while. They were unsure whether they were going to be able to run that qualification or not. Um, it did end up running um, in a little bit of a modified format to fit in with social distancing and all that kind of thing that started to come in. Then after that, there was a real question mark over whether the Olympics was going to go ahead. Of course it didn't. And then it was a question of whether our qualification would stand. It was a strange lead in. I tried to make it as normal as I possibly could and just as far as I was concerned, the event was always going ahead. Um, it was going to be an as normal event and I just had to turn up and perform. So it, in some ways it was a bit strange, but I did a pretty good job in the end, I think, of just treating it as any other event. And um, it, it all went fairly smoothly for me in the lead up to it, really. But it kind of left us in limbo for a little while, not, not knowing whether to be happy or whether to start planning for another qualification. So it was, it was a little bit of a, a strange scenario, I guess. Nice to collect your thoughts and, and, and do a little bit of self-reflection. But um, I think in the next month or so, I'll be getting an itchy trigger finger um, and want to get back out on the range. So I've just been really trying to work with the Victorian Institute of Sport and keep my fitness up um, as much as I can. But at the end of the day, I really do need practice out on the range shooting targets. I've been just playing table tennis to keep my reflexes quite quick and, and alert. But yeah, it, I'll need some range training eventually. At the moment, it has really impacted my preparation because I'm not able to shoot. The, the shooting ranges are closed, so uh, there there's no actual shooting training, but I'm still able to do all my physical training and I, I can still dry mount um, in my house. <laughs> um, that's the closest thing to shooting that I can get at the moment. I find I'm putting my feet in my, my position that I normally take all the time. Every time I stand still somewhere, the feet go into the spot that don't lose that. That's, that's where they go, keep it there. So yeah, a few little funny quirks going on like that, I guess. But I mean, you know, I've been quite busy at work, so I've, I've had a, haven't had a whole lot of time so far to really sitting around, not doing much, thinking about it. For the, the regular shooters that have to, to rely on you their home clubs and things like that it's just a really unique time and i'm glad we have you know more than a year to to get back to normal and you know start competing overseas we had all these plans to to go to world cups and compete and obviously um, we've closed our borders and for good reason um, but yeah it's just one of those things where um, it's going to be a very unique situation and it, I guess it will be a game that I definitely will never forget.